What's up everybody, this is Dre and I'm back again with another video. And tonight we're gonna look at a brand new wireless Bluetooth speaker and it's called uh, Punch and it's by a company called NYNE. So if you're in the market for a budget Bluetooth speaker, uh, this one is definitely on deck. So let's take a look at NYNE's Punch. And this is a critical review. Okay, let's uh, let's jump right into it. Um, this is called the Punch, as I mentioned. It's N Y N E is the company's name, and uh, they have quite a few speakers that are coming out. So expect to see uh, a line of speakers coming from N Y N E in the next uh, few months. I just checked out their website, and they have uh, about ten different styles coming from uh, three different PA systems to uh, different styles of wireless Bluetooth speakers. But um, for my uh, purpose of this review, we're going to take a look at the Punch, which is uh, something that's right now on Amazon, and it's running about seventy dollars, uh, more or less. I think if uh, when you have the sales, it'll probably drop to about fifty. But um, after playing around with it for a couple of weeks, um, this is actually a very good buy for seventy dollars. So it's a budget speaker, so don't expect Bose quality sound. But for a wireless Bluetooth speaker, it actually is pretty decent. Now, um, you have a nice uh, welcome card there, as well as a uh, one-year warranty that you get. Um, I think there's a telephone number there, as well as uh, an email address that you can reach out to them. You have a quick start guide that's in uh, three languages. And um, you also have inside is a DC plug that you can uh, plug the speaker to. Now, the speaker has um, a lot of nice features in it, and um, actually I was very surprised by that. Now you have the DC plug that is in the little small white box, and then of course when you remove it, uh, you have the speaker there itself. Now, um, the speaker measures 7.5 inches by 4.5 inches, and uh, it's about 5 inches high. And it's about two to two and a half pounds. Um, it weighs about two to two and a half pounds. Now, um, one of the things that really stuck out to me is that um, the quality of the material that they use. Um, it has a nice soft rubber touch to it and has a very nice feel to it. It has a, a metal grill over it, which covers the two, two and a half inch drivers. Now, the company says that the drivers are 10 watts each. So you have a total of 20 watts um, coming out of the speaker. Now, um, I can verify that, but it does get pretty loud. And we'll talk about the, um, the sound reproduction in a minute. But uh, the build quality is very, very, very impressive. Um, on the left side, you don't have anything. But on the right side, you have uh, some buttons there. You have your um, power button as well as the NFC. You have the speaker, you have the up and down volume and the play and pause. Uh, inside, as I pull the back side of it out, on the bottom, you have the, the DC plug in right there, if I can get that into focus, as well as a line in jack just above it. So you have the 3.5 millimeter jack as well as a USB input. Now the USB input is actually for um, the battery that's inside. So you can actually charge a device with the built-in battery that's inside. Now I've got to check and see what is the battery storage, but you can actually charge a device while you're playing. And uh, this device also comes with the ability to pair another um, speaker like itself to a device. So you can create a virtual stereo sound with it. And, and as I mentioned, it's not, um, it's not a very big speaker, but for 20 watts uh, coming out of this small speaker, it is very, very, very impressive. Now, uh, I'm going to um, add an addendum to this so that we can hear what the speaker sounds like, but I have to adjust the sound because, uh, I'm sorry, adjust the time because I'm limited uh, by uh, space on Amazon's site. But uh, I'll put a longer review on YouTube if you want to um, hear the audio. But um, for the purposes of this review, um, the speaker is very nice. Now I've had an opportunity to um, 
stream music from Pandora, as well as some files that I have on my phone. And uh, the sound production is really good. I, I mean, I was really impressed with the sound. Now, uh, there is one thing that you're going to have to, um, you should be aware of, which is if you're going to control the volume by your phone or your tablet, um, I would suggest that you would set it at a particular volume and then let it be. Because once you start to raise it um, wirelessly, there's a jump, maybe 80% of the way. So if you wanted to kind of increase the volume and you start to go to the max, there's a jump between where the level is and then it starts to blast. So it doesn't go up gradually beyond like 80%. Once you get to about 80% and if you want to raise it higher, it literally blasts out and it kind of, you have to uh, go and reduce the sound so that it's actually tolerable. And now I find it better if you're going to uh, increase the sound or decrease it, I find it better to actually um, go to the speaker itself and press the up or down button if you want to control the level of um, volume that comes out of it. Because I did find it quite a few times annoying that I would press the uh, volume up on my tablet or my phone, and at a certain point, it would just make a huge jump. And of course, that would not be well if you're around a lot of people that, um, and you don't want to disturb them. But um, for the most part, the speaker has a great sound. And with that, it's a little bit unnerving, but you're getting a very, very, very uh, loud speaker for the money. Now, the company said that there is no distortion. Um, I, don't, I didn't find that to be accurate. Um, I have uncompressed files as well as MP3 files. And at a certain point, the speaker does lose uh, some of its um, fidelity. And as you'd expect with a budget speaker. But this is actually a very good speaker. And for $70, you can't uh, beat it. So I'm going to, with the next clip, I'm going to play uh, some music through the speaker so you can hear it yourself. And um, just be aware that it's, uh, it's not Bose quality, but it is very good. And um, if I had to judge it on a scale of 1 to 5, I would say it's definitely a strong 4. Much, much better than a 3, um, but I wouldn't give it a 5. A 4 is, I think, very comfortable with that uh, speaker. Build quality is great. It's loud. Um, just a minor thing with the volume setting. But you have a lot of features there that you can do a lot with. From connecting it to your stereo system. Maybe you can plug in some analog headphones. You can connect another speaker. So there's a lot of features. Build quality is great. So the NYNE Punch. It's a strong four. And uh, we'll be back with a, uh, some demo of how it sounds. And uh, thanks for watching.